Hi, my name is Jenny and I work at Mott Children's Hospital as a Certified Child Life Specialist. That means I use different dolls and games and books and sometimes even food activities to help kids learn about what's going to happen if they come to the hospital and to learn about all the different systems in our body and the jobs that they do for us. One of those activities is called bone marrow cookies. Should we make those together today? Let's do it. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to print out something that's going to tell us all the different ingredients that we need for our bone marrow cookies. Do you guys know what that would be called? It starts with an R and it lists all the different things that we need to make our food. Did you guys say recipe? You're right. So you're gonna to wanna to ask an adult to go on the Ann Arbor Hands-On Museum website and print out the Bone Appetit recipe, which is the bone marrow cookie recipe. You guys all have that? Great, let's get started. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't have any food allergies and that you can eat all the different food that we use to make the bone marrow cookies. Did everybody ask an adult if they can eat all the different ingredients? Perfect, let's start. So for our first ingredients, we are going to use we need something for our bones, some kind of food item to stand for our bones. Should we use graham crackers? Let's do it. And then you guys can go ahead and read the thing, the words by the bone in the brown writing. It says, all of us have bones inside of our body. Is that true? If we didn't have bones inside of our body, what would we be like? Some people say we would be a wiggly, flap, floppy mess. Sometimes people say we'd be a puddle on the floor. What do our bones do for our body? They help them stand up straight and tall, don't they? Yeah. So again, we're gonna use our graham crackers for our bones. The next ingredient is going to be our bone marrow. Let's read together about what bone marrow does for our body. It says bone marrow is like the factory inside of our bones that makes our blood. So bone marrow is the factory inside of our bones that makes our blood. What other kind of things do you guys think factories make? Maybe if you're sitting with a grown-up, you can tell them. What other kind of things do you think factories make? I know that factories make our clothes and factories make our iPhones. I wonder what kind of things you shared with your grown-up about what factories do. So bone marrow is the factory inside of our blood, that inside of our bones, that makes our blood. And for our bone marrow, we're gonna use pink frosting and we're gonna spread it on our cookies, just like this. Just spread it on our cookies. Maybe you wanna make a design. Maybe you just wanna spread it on there. And when you're done, they'll look like they'll look like this. After you're done, they'll look like that. Our next ingredient for our bone marrow cookies is listed by the white superhero. Should we read it together? It says, white blood cells do a job kind of like superheroes. When we're sick, they help our body get rid of the sick germs. So who's ever been sick? I know I have. 
And after you've maybe stayed in bed for a little while and, and drank some water and maybe eaten some soup and gotten some good rest, you usually start to feel better, don't you? Yeah. Well, that's because our white blood cells are in our body helping get rid of those sick germs. So we're going to use our marshmallows for our white blood cells. And we're just going to put them on our cookies. And after we're done, they'll look like that. else can you do to help your body stay healthy? What other kinds of things can you do? Maybe take a minute and talk about that with your grown-up. What other kinds of things can you do to help your body stay healthy? One thing you could do is cover your mouth if you sneeze so nobody else kind of gets your cold. Another thing you could do is, what's this boy doing over here? It's an important thing to do before you eat and after you go to the bathroom. He's washing his hands. So there's lots of things that you can do to help your body stay healthy. So we're gonna use our marshmallows as our white blood cells. So you can go ahead and put them on your cookie right now. Our next ingredient is our red blood cells. Should we read together what our red blood cells do for our body? Red blood cells do a job kind of like the pizza guy. He delivers pizza to our house. And our red blood cells deliver special air to all parts of our body called oxygen. And the oxygen helps us breathe and it also gives our body energy. So we're gonna use our red hats as our red blood cells. These are a little spicy, so if you don't like spicy, you don't have to put them on. But if you wanna put them on, you can put your red hats on right now. Those are going to stand for our red blood cells. What other kinds of activities does your body need to have energy to do? So our red blood cells gives our body oxygen and energy. What kind of activities could you do because you have that energy? You can just take a minute and talk to your grown-up about those things. One kind of activity that we need lots of oxygen and energy to do is run. And another type of activity that we need lots of oxygen and energy to do is ride our bike. Who likes to ride their bike? I know I do. So if you haven't already, you can go ahead and put those red blood cells or those red hots on your cookie. And we have one last thing that our bone marrow makes. So it's something called platelets. And platelets do a job kind of like little band-aids. If we fall down and get a cut, and that cut has a little bit of blood on it, and we put a band-aid on it, does it stay bleeding or stop bleeding? And take a moment to just talk to your grown-up about that. If we have a cut with a little bit of blood and we put a band-aid on it, does it stay bleeding or stop bleeding? Did you guys say stop? You're right. Yeah. So our platelets do a job like band-aids. When we get a cut, it has a little bit of blood on it. They help us stop bleeding. If you fall off your bike and get a scrape with a little bit of blood, 
Our platelets, again, help that cut stop bleeding. What else could you do and wear to help yourself stay safe while you're riding on your bike? What do you guys think? You wanna just take a minute and maybe talk with your grown up about it? What kinds of things could you wear on your body to help yourself stay safe while you're riding on your bike? Did you guys say something like this? That maybe you could wear a helmet on your head to protect your head? And maybe you could wear elbow pads and knee pads on those part of your body, on that part of your body to help yourself there, to protect yourself? You're right. You guys have so many good ideas about how to help your body stay safe. So we're going to use our caramels as our plate. And the caramels we're using as platelets because platelets are sticky little things. So when we fall off our bike, if we fall off our bike and we get a cut with a little bit of blood on it, our platelets stick together to form a scab. Has anybody ever gotten one of those little scabs over a cut after they've fallen off their bike? That's your platelets going to work to help your cut stop bleeding for your body. So you guys can go ahead and put your caramels, which are your platelets, on your cookie. So thank you all so much for learning about your blood today and for making a special cookie activity with me. Bon appetit. Enjoy your cookies.